Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up your actor profile in the new Rococo Studio. Your actor profile is the medium through which your real life movements are translated to digital motion capture data. As such, it's important that you set up your actor profile with accurate measurements. Otherwise, your motion capture data can suffer. Let's open up a new scene in Rococo Studio. We'll click Add Actor. This is Newton, who will be your digital avatar in Rococo Studio. I'll give him my name. I might choose a color. And then we'll get to the measurement section. If we twirl this drop down, we can see all of the measurements. By far, the most important measurement for Newton is your height. For 90% of users, we recommend that you just input your height and you leave the rest of the measurements alone. I personally only ever input my height and I don't really put in the rest of the measurements. And that's because if you input the rest of the measurements inaccurately, you can actually make your motion capture data worse and not better. That's why we recommend just starting out by putting in the height, leaving the rest of the measurements and seeing how your motion capture turns out. However, all that being said, going in and actually filling out the rest of those measurements can give you a more accurate motion capture result. Also, if you're a person who has an atypical body type, which usually manifests as either having shorter legs relative to your torso or a really long torso relative to your legs, you may want to go in and input these measurements as well. Most people know if they fall into that category. If you are going to go in and fill out the rest of the measurements, let's walk through how you should approach that. First things first, you're going to be measuring your bone length not your musculature length. So you should keep that in mind. The second thing to note is that you should definitely take your time. This is not a process that you want to rush. And with that, you probably also want to have a friend to help you out, especially for some of the measurements which really require two people to get accurately. If you're using a roll of uh, measuring tape or something like that, you want to make sure that that tape doesn't bend while you're taking the measurements. And finally, if you intend to be using your motion capture suit with shoes, you want to take your measurements while you're wearing shoes as well. Okay, now we're going to go through and talk about how to take each of these measurements in turn. We'll start with your hand length, which you're going to take by measuring from the base of the wrist to the tip of your middle finger. And for hand width, you just want to measure the widest part of the palm above the thumb. Next, we'll move on to arm span. So this is one of the measurements that's almost impossible to get by yourself because you're going to need to raise your arms out at a 90 degree angle from your body and the measure from the tip of the middle finger to the tip of the middle finger on the other hand. Now for your shoulder height, for which you're not going to measure to the top of your shoulder as you might expect, but instead from the floor to the pit in between your collarbones. Next, we'll measure shoulder width. And for this, you wanna find the distance between the left and right body edges on the back of the shoulders. Next, onto the hip or pelvis height. So after your just general height, your hip or pelvis height is the second most important measurement that you can take. And for it, you're going to want to measure from the floor to the bony tip on the front of your pelvis, which is kind of right over the center of your thigh, not to where you might put your hands on your hips. Instead, it's this bony part of the hip right here. For hip or pelvis width, you just want to take the distance between each of those bony tips on the front side of the pelvis. For your knee height, you're going to want to measure from the floor to the middle of the kneecap. So next for your forearm length, and for this you're going to want to measure from the outside tip of your elbow all the way to the tip of your middle finger on either hand. And finally, we get to foot length. And for this, you're going to want to measure from the back of the ankle all the way to the tip of the second toe. And that takes us through all of the advanced measurements for your actor profile in the new Rococo Studio. Again, we recommend for almost everyone that you start by just inputting your height and seeing how that goes with your mocap. If you want to delve into taking these advanced measurements in the future, make sure to take your time have a friend there to help you to get the trickier ones, and make sure to wear shoes if you're going to be wearing shoes while you do your mocap. If you have any problems, you can always hit up the Rococo Discord to get help from our community or from one of our team members on the Discord.
Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a blast creating with the new Rococo Studio.